Um, in this video, what I want to talk about is uh, giant ionic lattices. Now, in my last video, I talked about the formation of ionic compounds and what they form, the, the great majority of the time, what they form is giant ionic lattices, especially when they're left to, um, to actually crystallize and form the crystals. And what a giant ionic lattice is, is basically if you were to imagine like the, the, the bond that forms between the ions, like uh, maybe, uh, and let me let me draw draw it here. I'll draw sodium in in in, in red and uh, chlorine. I'll draw chlorine in green. So sodium here and chlorine here. So this is an ionic bond. This is um sodium and chlorine ionically bonded together. This is the uh, electrostatic force of attraction. Uh, so we've got Na and we've got Cl. So this is sodium and chlorine bonded together. In a giant ionic lattice, what happens is this um, pattern is repeated again and again and again in all different directions. Repeatedly, it's repeated in a regular structure, and this 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 regular structure can 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 become so huge relative to a single ionic bond that. It, it, it basically looks giant and that is relative to the single ionic bond and so we call it a giant ionic lattice because of the fact that it repeats over and over the, that regular structure and what a giant ionic lattice would look like um, leading along from this is that this would basically repeat and the way I like to draw it is I like to basically do a cube and then and then have a and then have the uh, the ions at the corners so that it shows it so that I can represent the structure of it. So I'm going to try and try that here. Draw a cube. So I've got a cube here, and then you know the inside of the cube. We've got yeah, that part, and then um, this cube repeats. So it's a repeating structure. So we're going to have more cubes here. and more cubes so this goes along oh no yeah my last video anyway so this goes along and um so at the corners of this i'm going to draw the struct the um i'm going to draw the ions so the ions would be this is just like uh, four of them, but this would extend in different directions. So if I draw the sodium ions, what happens is at irregular, at well, not re irregular, regular intervals, but every other um, gap would have a sodium. So we'd have a sodium here, but we wouldn't have one here, and we'd have one here. It, it'd basically go diagonally. So we'd have one, we wouldn't have one there, but we'd have one here. We wouldn't have one here, but we'd have one here. We wouldn't have one here or here, but we'd have one here. And the same goes for the back. So we would have one here, and not here, but here, not here, but um, there, and uh, there, and uh, no, we wouldn't have one. Wait a second. How many of us? Wait. Um, Yeah, it seems that seems yeah yeah. That, this is basically the sodiums, uh, and now I'm gonna draw the chlorines. So the chlorines would be in every all the spaces which the chlorine. I mean, the, so, the chlorine would be in all of the spaces which the sodium didn't occupy. So those spaces. And this is the way I like to draw up the structure of it. And if you look at this, you can see that this has really a uh, sort of intriguing regular repeating structure it goes diagonally like this and diagonally like this and this this structure repeats outwards in a giant giant ionic structure this structure basically repeats in all different directions 
And so this is basically what we call a giant ionic lattice. So I hope that was, um, and, and up here is magnesium chloride and sodium chloride, basically the crystals. Magnesium chloride, um, I believe I've drawn this formula incorrectly. MgCl would be Mg, MgCl2 since magnesium is group two. Yeah, and so this this since this contains three ions rather than just two like NaCl, it might have a slightly different kind of structure structural layout than this. But despite that, um, it's still gonna be uh, it still can form giant ionic lattices. It would be slightly different, but it can still be regular and repeating again and again and again. So I hope this video was helpful, and uh, I'll see you next video.